Hey guys, Brad coming at you here again with a nice little video. Got a care package from my man John. Surprise! It says Brad, no Merino Auto in this care package. Just a small stack of what I picked up lately. Hope they find a home in your PC. Take care and stay cool, John J W H, 1969. Bam, he's the man. So I appreciate it. He also said he had the. Dolphins in a chrome break. And here's some of the highlights. Is the chrome mini. Got a refractor to $4.99. Arthur Lynch. And a pink to $3.99. Arthur Lynch. And a refractor. My boy Landry. And the 85 version. Landry, those are just some of the highlights of them, so I appreciate that, John. And here's what else he sent. Number to 25, this guy has probably one of the uh, best names ever. His name's Gator. Gator. He just sounds like a B.A. Gator Hoskins, number to 25 out of N.T. His name's Gator. That's the silver version. Nice. And then... Nice as well. Uh, number to 99 out of this year's NT. We got a Tannehill jersey. Sick. Bam. Then just a few weeks ago, somebody sent me the dual jersey. Now I have the triple relic. To 99 of Jarvis Landry, the NFL gear. So nice. And this is a nice looking card. I think golds might be my favorite from this. Out of Bowman Chrome, 2014 Bowman Chrome, number to 50. Got Mr. Arthur Lynch on card autograph. Who should be the third tight end this season behind Cameron and Sims. So he should make the team this year, assuming he stays healthy. Arthur Lynch. Just a sharp looking card. Nice on card autograph. So, John, as always, buddy, thank you. And I actually think I have some cowboy stuff I have set aside for you, but I think I'll just wait till I get a few more things to send it out to you. Just miscellaneous. But, uh, as always, John, hope things settle down for you. I know you're a really busy man for a while, so hopefully things have settled down and you're doing well. And as always, if you don't know him, you probably know him by now. Me and him do a lot of back and forth stuff. So, John, you're the man. Always appreciated. And now to my one pickup. I got a one pickup and I got a redemption in for Panini. Woohoo! Redemption in. Okay. Out of. And I'll tell you why this pisses me off. You know how a lot of times we're pumped if we get a card cheap on eBay? We're like, man, I got that cheap. As much as I like that, I get kind of pissed off that I can get it that cheap. This card I got for $8.50 shipped. $8.50, I believe, shipped. This should be a $20 shipped card, I'm just saying. Out of a high-end product, on-card auto, I got this for $8.50 shipped. And I was kind of mad about it. You shouldn't be mad about it. You're like, oh, I got it cheap. But just in the scheme of things, it's kind of sad. Nice on-card auto, Jarvis Landry. 850 ship. This should be at least a $20 card. Out of five-star. But there's something about it. It's like, it's five-star just doesn't, it doesn't sell in baseball either very well. You know, except for the very top of the line guys, it just doesn't sell. And I can't figure it out. Now this, probably because they didn't number them. And they made, you know, 500 of some players, 300 of some players, you know. That's the new scheme they're doing is they're not numbering them so they can put less of the good players and more of the crappy players. That's a scheme companies are doing now. But I'm pumped to get that for 850 but also pissed off in a way because it shouldn't be going for 850 shipped, you know. But glad to have it. But let me know what you think. Sometimes when you get a steal of a deal... You're just like, that shouldn't go that cheap. That's just kind of a damn shame. So it was kind of like, you know, 
It was good and bad in a way, because I'm like, that should have went for 17 20 bucks at least. But glad to have it. I'm glad I can get it. Hopefully they don't go for eight fifty anymore. Man, then I got this from Panini. I'm still waiting on my Scotty Pippen that I redeemed. Like, let's see, I hit it at Nationals last year in a break. If you guys remember, a preferred break. Still haven't got that because he still hadn't signed it. But this, if you remember, I hit two Jimmy Butlers in a break, and I sold the Gold Standard Redemption because he didn't sign it yet. So I was like, I ain't waiting on that. But I did redeem this one, the Select. Number to 199, so it's the Prism Refractor Auto. Rookie card. Got his new contract. He's five year, I think 90 million. Mr. Jimmy Butler. Who, who is the man? I'm just saying. He's improved every single year in the league. You can't ask for more than that. But Jimmy Butler. Bam. Everybody loves a little Jimmy Butler. What up, Manny? You're a Bulls fan. Bam. So, happy to get that in. Card's in great shape, too. Which is the way it should be, I guess, when you get a redemption. But it is in great shape. So, got that. And that's all I've got. Uh, let's see. Anything sports-wise? Oh, what's with all these guys playing with fireworks? I, I mean, what? Two guys lost fingers? A guy from the Bucks lost a finger, and <laughs> Jason Pierre-Ball lost a finger. Uh, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, since last time, all the women won the World Cup. I was able to watch every game they played pretty much. They, it seemed like they saved their good soccer for the knockout stage, which is, I guess, what you want to do. The group stage they didn't look that great, but they started playing really well once they got to the knockout stage, so... Saving their best for last, so that was good to see. Um, see anything else? It doesn't look like I'll have to watch. I just woke up a little bit ago. Yeah, slept in today. Finally got a day off. Worked nine days in a row. That sucked. So I have to see if Des Bryant ever got his deal done by today or not. And Demarius Thomas. Reportedly, they're offering him over $12 million, which... Seems reasonable to me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't blame players for holding out and seeing what they can get. But all in all, the owners have all the leverage, you know. Because what if they say you're not paying them, you're not going to be sitting home for 10 weeks. I don't care what they say. You know, they're going to want a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, the bots always has the leverage, you know. But, yeah, that's all I got. I'll have to see if those guys got signed today. I doubt it. It seemed like both of them are pretty stubborn. Both both sides are pretty stubborn, the team and the players. So we'll see. But until next time, keep making the vids. And hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.